Attempting to sublimate one's thoughts is akin to burying one's shadow. If one is to believe that there is a thinker, one could likewise believe in a digester or a heart beater. Until the desire for personal continuity is surrendered, how can understanding manifest? Any mind functioning from the mandate for self-protection must fill itself with imaginations, thereby skewing reality. Regardless of how disparate and disorganised a series of appearances may be, that which perceives them is organisation itself. It is an impartial equilibrium. When a person enters a pitch black room and declares, there is nothing here, they speak incorrectly. Were they not there to observe the absence? Mind struggles with absence or emptiness. It cannot find a box to place it in. The brain does not know how to process it. This is the conundrum that remains unresolved until it becomes clear that this emptiness is prior to both mind and brain. It is the source or fountain from which all things spring. As the mind creates bodies in a world while one dreams, it likewise creates other bodies in another world during what is called waking. Each lives in and from their own mind. Each mind is the container of each world. Unable to know another's mind, one is, in truth, unable to know another's world. When Wu Xin awakens in the morning, I am is already present to welcome and receive him. Anything perceived comes and goes, whereas 
I am was there before its appearance, during the moments when it presented itself, and after it had left. I am this background. I am is the gap before one thought replaces another. I am abides as knowing. Knowing thinking mind, perceiving senses, acting body, happy or sad personality. Being this knowing, it can be neither thinking mind, perceiving senses, acting body, nor happy or sad personality. I am is this impartial observation of the organism in the flow of life. All attempts at rejection only provide reality to that which one wants to reject. See the false as false. There is no need to reject it. How can one reject what isn't? For most, the destruction of the false is quite difficult, as falsity is being created and renewed all the time. Realize that all is in your mind and that you are beyond the mind. The disentanglement from self-consciousness the movement of attention from thought to the spaces between thought is sufficient. Questions attempt to enhance one's intellectual understanding. As intellectual understanding is not a precondition for clear sight, the pursuit of intellectual understanding is a road with no outlet. To be a master of intellectual understanding is to be wearing a paper crown Wu Xin acknowledges that you have come here seeking the truth. Yet, how will the truth seekers recognize the thought?
when the body dies, I is in no way diminished. This I, it is pure existence, eternal, infinite, indefinable, not affected by the succession of time. It is not involved in the extension of space, beyond form, quantity, quality. It is self only, and it is absolute. Language translates thoughts from symbols into words. Prior to thought, it has no use. The challenge to Wu Xin is to apply words to where no words apply. Consciousness itself is mind, thought, all phenomena all manifestation, the world. What is me other than the thought of the composite that the mind has created? See that since no thought can do anything, me can't do anything. Now, be still. Who can know that by which everything is known? Those who are seeking to know who they are walk a trail with no end. One already knows what one is relatively. One never can know what one is absolutely, for as such, one is no thing to be known. There is no division between inner and outer. There is only one movement in which the inner and the outer exist as aspects of movement. Seeing otherwise is confusion like seeing ice as something separate from water. As absence of light is darkness, absence of confusion is enlightenment.
always you think, I exist. Every moment your body and mind are changing. But in the middle of all these changes, the unchangeable notion, I exist, persists. You never think, I do not exist. This awareness of I exist is the reflection of the authentic I. When you realise, you will understand that there is nothing to give up or to get hold of. What exists always exists. Only one authentic I exists. What is the world other than one's consciousness of it? Every perception, thought or feeling is known by oneself. One is the knower of the world through the sense organs. The sense organs through the mind and the mind and its activity by knowing itself. Actions, perceptions, thoughts and feelings all come and go. But knowingness does not stand apart even for a moment. Resting is consciousness Everything will be happening spontaneously. Standing as a body-mind, one will think that you are doing something. Silence is a state of aloneness, which is absolute. It is a state of surrender to life, the unknown. To face the unknown is to be free from all the reactions of the known. When your house is burning down, it is not the time for analysis. Consciousness turned outward towards phenomena is called mind. Mind is therefore the first phenomenon. The mind is opaque and cannot accurately represent what is true. It is made opaque by fear, 
which arises after the birth of the conceptual dichotomy of self and other. Such a mind is incapable of clarity. By what faculty does one experience the mind? Consciousness is the first movement. From it, the movement into mind and all other movements ensue. The differentiation into same, similar and dissimilar begins. The goal of any practice is the end of all practice. It is only the recognized that can be transcended. This explains why Wu Sin places so much emphasis on discerning the false. In every instant, when one stands outside the mind to observe the mind, one is the sought after. Clarity occurs in one of two fashions. First, if one directly sees what one is, then one knows what one is not. The other is to discern what one is not, with the residual being what one is. Wu Sin knows what you are, while you believe what you aren't. Wu Sin has examined that which you have yet to examine. Understand that understanding is possible only when there is observation without any centre as observer. The consciousness that one is has no outside. All phenomena are appearances in it. This includes a psychosomatic form that carries one's name. Most spiritual pursuits fail to draw the distinction between the search for freedom for the ego and the search for freedom from the ego. As such, most fall into the former. One must be willing to forego the security of the habitual but most are not. 
Wu Xin advises that one must narrow the attention. The body is an inert egg, infused with the conscious life energy. That which cared for its every need while in wombed continues to do so today. What causes one to believe that the caring ceased with the exit from the womb?